Hello, world. Welcome, I am your host Mr. Stag. Today we will be taking a deep dive into Kinder Morgan Incorporated, ticker symbol KMI. Kinder Morgan Incorporated is one of the largest energy infrastructure companies in North America. The company specializes in owning and controlling oil and gas pipelines and terminals. Kinder Morgan owns an interest in or operates approximately 83,000 miles of pipelines and 143 terminals. The company's pipelines transport natural gas, liquefied natural gas, ethanol, biodiesel, hydrogen, refined petroleum products, crude oil, carbon dioxide, and more. Kinder Morgan also stores or handles a variety of products and materials at their terminals such as gasoline, jet fuel, ethanol, coal, petroleum coke and steel. 40% of the natural gas consumed in the US is transported through their pipelines. The company previously had built a major presence in Canada with the Trans Mountain Pipeline, but that infrastructure is now publicly owned and operated. The company's CO2 division traditionally provides carbon dioxide CO2, for enhanced oil recovery projects in North America, but also increasingly for carbon sequestration efforts. Kinder Morgan Energy Partners KMP, was founded in 1997 when a group of investors acquired the general partner of a small, publicly traded pipeline limited partnership, Enron Liquids Pipeline L. P., later renamed Kinder Morgan Energy Partners LP. Its co-founder Rich Kinder had been the president of Enron. After Kinder was denied an expected promotion to replace Kenneth Lay as chief executive officer, he departed the company, purchasing its interest in ELP for $40 million. Richard Kinder, born October 19, 1944, is an American billionaire businessman. He is the co-founder and executive chairman of Kinder Morgan Incorporated, an energy and pipeline corporation. Richard Kinder was born in Cape Girardeau, Missouri. He received a BA in 1966 and a JD in 1968, both from the University of Missouri. In college, he was a member of the Sigma Nu fraternity. He began his career in the energy business as an attorney with Florida Gas Transmission, which eventually became Enron Corporation, after a series of mergers. He had been friends with its founder, Kenneth Lay, in college. From 1990 to December 1996, he served as its president and COO. He resigned from Enron in 1996 to start a new pipeline company with college friend William V. Morgan. They also merged with Not Energy. After a number of acquisitions, the most prominent being El Paso Corporation, Kinder Morgan became the largest midstream energy company in North America. In 2014, Kinder was listed on Forbes' richest people in the US. Kinder is one of the seven self-made billionaires from Houston on the list, with a net worth of $7.4 billion. Based in Houston, KMP began with a few assets, 175 employees and an enterprise value of approximately $325 million. Mr. Kinder and Mr. Morgan had a vision to build a different type of energy company by utilizing the Master Limited Partnership MLP, financial structure as a growth vehicle, something that had never been done before. This approach was highly successful, and KMP became the largest publicly traded pipeline limited partnership in America based on enterprise value. In its early years, KMP grew primarily through acquisitions, purchasing assets that included refined petroleum pipelines, CO2 production fields and transportation pipelines, intrastate natural gas pipelines and bulk and liquids terminals. As time went on, the majority of KMP's growth came through expansions and new build projects. In 1999, Kinder Morgan conducted a reverse merger with Not Energy, a utility and pipeline company. Natural Gas Pipeline Company of America, NGPL, which serves the Chicago market, was acquired through this deal. Not Energy became Kinder Morgan's second publicly traded company, Kinder Morgan Incorporated, KMI. In 2001, Kinder Morgan's third publicly traded company, Kinder Morgan Management, LLC, KMR, was formed to facilitate institutional ownership of KMP equity. On August 28, 2006, 
Kinder Morgan announced that it would be taken private in a management-led leveraged buyout totaling approximately $22 billion. Outside participants in the transaction include Fair Seraphim, Goldman Sachs Capital Partners and High Star Capital, then owned by American International Group. KMI began trading again on the NYSE on February 11, 2011, following the largest private equity-backed US IPO offering in history and raised approximately $3.3 billion. In October 2011, Kinder Morgan Incorporated agreed to buy El Paso Corporation EP, for $38 billion and gave the combined company 67,000 miles of gas lines, eclipsing Enterprise Products Partners LP as the biggest US pipeline operator. The transaction paid with shares of Kinder Morgan, Kinder Morgan Warrants, and all of cash portion $11.5 billion through Barclays PLC borrowing. On August 10, 2014, Kinder announced it was moving to full ownership of its partially owned subsidiaries Kinder Morgan Energy Partners, Kinder Morgan Management, and El Paso Pipeline Partners in a deal worth $71 billion. The transaction closed on November 26, 2014. Prior to November 26, 2014, the Kinder Morgan Group publicly traded companies included Kinder Morgan Incorporated, Kinder Morgan Energy Partners, LP, Kinder Morgan Management, LLC and El Paso Pipeline Partners, LP, a merger transaction combined all under Kinder Morgan Incorporated, NYSE, KMI, on November 26, 2014. In 2021, Kinder Morgan announced the formation of its Energy Transition Ventures Group. This new group was established to pursue commercial opportunities emerging from the low-carbon energy transition and broaden Kinder Morgan's reach beyond the low-carbon energy initiatives developed by the company's other business units. Shortly after the group's formation, Kinetrex Energy was acquired marking Kinder Morgan's entry into the landfill-based RNG business. During the 2021 Texas power crisis, Kinder Morgan posted a nearly $1 billion one-time net profit after the company voluntarily cut back on its own power, saving $116 million, and sold natural gas to electric utility companies at high prevailing prices, gaining $880 million. Most of the extra gas Kinder Morgan sold went to electric utility companies whose usual non-Kinder suppliers had shut down or blacked out as the catastrophe intensified. Possible long-term ramifications of the storm may be that utilities pay more to guarantee uninterrupted gas deliveries from Kinder Morgan instead. KMI's current stock price at the time of this video is $17.20 with a market cap of $39 billion. The stock is currently overvalued according to Simply Wall Street by 0.9% with a fair value price of $17.04. The company has a P.E. ratio of 21.9. The company has a P.B. ratio of 1.3 which is undervalued based on the industry P.B. ratio of 2.1. KMI currently pays a dividend of 6.3% and it has a payout ratio of 137%. The company has earnings per share of 0.79, a gross margin of 46.65%, a net profit margin of 10.74%, and a debt to equity ratio of 104.4%. Richard Kinder owns 11.34% of Kinder Morgan valued at $4.4 billion. With Biden's infrastructure plan and increase energy commodities prices Kinder Morgan might win big over the next couple of years. In just a year its revenue increased $5 billion. Tell us what you think about the future of the Kinder Morgan and the energy industry in the comment section below. Mr. Staglogging.